Hey guys, it's Julius. Um, so you, we all know that one reason the rich get richer is because of our passive income. Now, simply by having money that can be used to purchase uh, shares uh, of companies allows the rich to make money even if all they do is sitting down on the couch all day. Now, you don't have to be rich uh, to have passive income. However, you can slowly put your income into the stock market and see it grow. More established companies will pay a regular dividend that sends uh, some of uh, its profits back to uh, its shareholders. Now, there are many forms of passive income out there. However, when uh, you compare dividend income to any of the other forms of uh, supposedly passive income, it becomes clear that uh, there is nothing quite like a dividend income. Now, literally, all you need to do is purchase a share of a company or uh, a dividend paying mutual fund or ETF to receive the dividend. It doesn't require your attention and could, uh, in theory, never require your attention at all. Let's look at uh, real estate, for example, right? It uh, technically can be made passive if you purchase uh, a rental property and uh, hire a management company. That way you don't have to address any problems or uh, repairs with the property, nor do you have to find uh, and manage tenants. Now, however, what many other small investors end up doing is um, seeing how expensive management costs are and end up managing the property themselves. They may not be performing repairs, but they are calling, uh, um, they are calling contractors and signing uh, off on repairs. Now here you end up having uh, to be on call or in case something goes wrong at the property. Now that's why I say dividend, dividends are the best forms of passive income. Now the problem though is that uh, dividends do require that you have money to invest. There is no getting around it. Now I don't know if it's a problem or it's a challenge because any business you want to create, you need to invest in it first. Now it can be difficult for people to wrap their heads around how much money they will need to earn from a passive dividend income. And a lot of people are curious how much money they will need to get enough dividends uh, to live off. Because really that's the goal, to be able to live off your dividends at some point when you retire. So I found this free website, it's called uh, Market Bits, right? This website really is really good because uh, what it does um, it helps to break down how much you can expect to receive as dividends within a specific period of time. So what you have to do is uh, fill out uh, this portion, um, the starting principle, that's how much you're starting with. Uh, I'm going to use my Robin Hood principle, which is uh, at uh, 23,000. Uh, money annual dividend yield is at uh, 3.36. Uh, this is a taxable account uh, and your distribution that is how much you are contributing to your portfolio uh, every year uh, I'm contributing currently a thousand dollars each month giving me twelve thousand uh, expected a new dividend increase percentage I'm going to leave it at one uh, distribution frequency um, most of my uh, stocks are quarterly and uh, I also have monthly dividend paying stocks so I'm going to leave it at quarterly taxable rate 15% expected annual share price I'm going to leave it at 3% uh, drip option yes uh, Robinhood offers a drip option this is when you reinvest your dividends and this is powerful if you can use it please use it because it enables you to buy more shares and it also helps with the dollar cost averaging so he has invested i'm a long-term investor so i'll leave it at 20 years so once we have that you can go ahead and calculate your dividends and here you can see uh ending balance in 20 years uh, that's over half a million and uh total return of a hundred percent so this is your money working for you and uh, here you can see the annual dividend income in 20 years this is 22,000 that you'll be collecting you can live anywhere and still collect this 22,000 every year coming in uh, within 20 years you can see how much dividend payments you have collected that's 163,000 those are payments this is money working for you right here right so when 
you go here to break it down you can see the first year your annual dividend was uh, above seven i mean 782 dollars and 59 cents but you can see how it has been increasing each year it increases each year you know your principal is growing and this annual dividend is increasing and this annual dividend is being invested back into the principal at the same time you're contributing this twelve thousand, right you see how compounding interest really works you see how your money is multiplying so for instance if you start investing when you are 20 and uh, your goal is to retire at 50 and uh, you're doing this for 30 years look at the difference look at the difference this so you can come and see you over almost a million you have a million sitting in your account this is uh, the return over 200 you saw your money is multiplying you saw your money is growing uh you already making over 54,000 every year and look at how much dividends you've collected within the 30 years you know what that shows you the earlier you start investing, the more money you'll be able to make. So when you're sitting at the sideline waiting, you just know you're losing time. Time is the most valuable when it comes to compounding. But this just shows you, you invest for 30 years. This is right. And then if you, if you can play it, I mean, if you want to retire at 60 and you're at 20, and you do 40, you can play with that too as well and see how much you're gonna have 2.5 million 2.5 million look at how much dividends you collect the six figure dividends coming in now when we talk about generation wealth how to build generation wealth now you can see so guys you wanna make money Time is your best friend when it comes to investing. Now, if this amount seem like a lot, remember that most people do not rely on dividends for income. Instead, they will sell their stock when they retire to fund their retirement. Now, stocks, including those that pay dividends, generally uh, increase in value over time. But it can be exciting to think of the possibilities that passive dividends income create. Some, including me, this uh, use this as a motivation to improve their finances. Now, the ability to invest more money and uh, create more dividend income motivates me to side hustle and increase the amount of uh, cash I can use to purchase uh, investments. Now, it's worth noting that many stocks do not pay dividends, especially uh, early stage companies that are focused on growing as quickly as possible. Instead of sending uh, dividends to shareholders, they use their cash to reinvest in the company. Now, dividend yields are generally relatively low and for good reason. When a company pays a dividend, uh, they're only paying out a portion of their profits. They are also keeping some of their profits to reinvest in the company for future growth. Like I always said, don't be that person that sits at the sideline and expecting change. You have to be involved for change to occur or to happen. Thanks again for watching another video. Don't forget to hit the like button because of subscribing to join the journey. See you in my next video.